Well, good morning. It's time for you and me to wake up well. It's the 21st of May, which means that we are looking at Psalm 21 today. I have to say I found this quite a difficult psalm to uh, work a devotional out of. And um, This is a psalm of a, of a king who is victorious. He's in a very good mood. Uh, he's been victorious in battle. Everything's going well for him. He's got long life ahead of him and his enemies are being kind of vanquished, uh, apparently at the hands of the Lord. Uh, and so he's in good form, um, but uh, there's a little bit of Old Testament wrath in there as well. So I'm, I'm looking carefully, but what, what is kind of good is that you can see some words of humility actually in this king. And isn't humility really important? It's a sign of a good king, a wise king uh, and a wise person. So in verse 6 of, of uh, Psalm uh, 21, uh, the king says this, You have given the king the joy of being in your presence. Uh, he does talk about victory and you know so on and so forth but actually what he's really coming down to is actually the joy for me comes from being in your presence God and he recognizes who is king on that day he says the king trusts in the Lord verse 7 verse 1 the king rejoices in your strength and that's the sort of thing that you and I can say at any given time I rejoice in your strength Lord not mine uh, but humility is so important isn't it but here's the key verse the unfailing love of the Most High will keep him from stumbling, will keep the king from stumbling. He realises realizes that it's the unfailing love of God, actually, which can keep him from stumbling in the end. And we're talking about the king, the head of the army, the guy with all the resources at his disposal, who's doing well. Still, he knows that he can stumble. And isn't that just like you and me, maybe today? Um, you know, uh, if you stumble over something, it probably means you didn't necessarily know it was there. Maybe you were blind to to a circumstance or something in life, or you know, or perhaps you're trapped by something that's happening and you didn't see it, you didn't realise what it was going to do, but actually its effect on us is to make us stumble and, and maybe to fall. Uh, stumbling is when you lose your balance, you get out of kilter, and it's easy to to happen to us in daily life, isn't it? In the Christian life, there are things that we do to ourselves, or the things that we think, or the things that we say, or the things that we watch, or allow to happen, which actually knock us off kilter from seeking first the kingdom of, of God and, and even that, that sense of you know joy in the presence of God. It knocks us off balance, off kilter. Uh, thankfully, the, 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 the king here is, is wise enough to know and to be humble enough to know how to redress the balance, which is to come back to the presence of God. Uh, and it may be that you and I are having a tough time right now, or perhaps you're you know, you're feeling like you've been knocked down. There's a, a great song by Chumbawamba. It's one of my personal all-time favourites. It's called, uh, you know, I get knocked down but I get up again. And isn't that the story of the Christian life many times for us? We do get knocked down. And so maybe that today even you're you're wobbling um, and you're, you're struggling and, and maybe you've stumbled and maybe you feel like you've fallen. The truth for me is, as a, as a Christian, as a child of God, I know that yes, I may stumble, yes, I may fall, but I'm never a failure. I never fail in God's eyes because I'm his child. And so it's possible for you and me to come back to the love, the unfailing love of our Heavenly Father, to remember it again even today and to realise, yes, I'm, I'm dearly beloved of God. I may fall, I may stumble, but I'm never a failure in his eyes. And so like a, like a weeble, those old toys that I used to play with when I was a kid, they get knocked down, but they come up again. They redress the balance. And so let's press in to God. In fact, the call of this psalm, uh, the, the, the writer, the confidence is to come back to the Lord, to remember his unfailing love. So for you and me today, I pray that we'll remember the Lord's unfailing love and that will help us and keep us from stumbling. Bless you today.